This is part 14 of Link Tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the concepts of deferred and immediate execution in Link. As far as the Link standard query operators are concerned, based on their execution behavior, we can broadly divide them into two categories, deferred or lazy operators, immediate or greedy operators. Deferred operators use deferred execution, immediate operators use immediate execution. Examples of deferred operators include select, where, take, skip, etc. Examples of immediate operators include count, average, min, max, to list, etc. Let's now look at a few examples. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here I have a new console application. All I have done so far is created the student class with these three properties. And within the main method, we are creating a student list. This student list at the moment contains two students who have got total marks of 800. Now what we want to do is retrieve all those students who have got total marks of 800 and then print them on the console screen. So I enumerable of student. Let's call the variable result. So this variable is going to hold the result. So let's write our link query now. So from student n our list of students where student dot total marks equals 800. We want to select such student. All right, next let's use a for each loop. So for each student, let's say s in our result. And let's actually print out s dot student id and then a tab space and then student name and then again a tab space and then student total marks. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and see if we get the output that we expect. So notice that we have got the two students who have got total marks of 800. Now, where do you think this query is actually executed? So we are defining the query right here. And then right here, we are iterating through the result, right? So is the query executed here where it is defined or here where we are actually iterating through the result? right the query actually gets executed here when we iterate through the sequence right let's actually prove that to prove that after the fact that we have defined our query let's go ahead and add a new student object to the list so new student and let's give a student id of 104 and then let's set his name to Tim. And then let's give him total marks of 800. All right. Now, if the query is executed right here where it is defined, then Tim should not be included in the result. Let's actually run this and see what's going to happen. Look at that. Now we also have Tim's record there which means this query, this link query is actually executed when we are actually iterating through the sequence, right? It's not executed where it is defined. So this is called as deferred execution. And recollect from the slide, you know, examples of deferred operators include select, where, etc. So here, select and where, they are deferred operators. So this query which is using you know all deferred operators is going to make use of deferred execution which means the query will not be executed the place where it is defined instead when we actually iterate through the result sequence that's when the query is executed now let's see how to actually force this query to execute immediately and that is called as immediate execution. And if you look at one of the operators which cause our query to be executed immediately is to list. So let's try to convert you know, whatever result that we are going to get into a list. So we are using to list here, which is a greedy operator or immediate operator. This will force this query to execute at the place where it is defined. So when we actually run this now, it should not include Tim's record because this query is actually executed. And then after that, we are adding a new student with total marks of 800 to the source. That's why this result is not going to include Tim's record. So let's run this. 
and notice that we only have Tom and Pam we don't have a Tim record so here we are using immediate execution because this operator tool list is an immediate operator now another example is count now if we want to get the total elements then we use the count operator which is another example of a greedy or immediate operator and this count is going to return us an integer that is the total number of elements within um, that sequence and all we want to do is print total number of students so let's go ahead and print that to the console so total equals result now again this is an immediate operator which is going to force this link query to execute right away which means though Tim has got total marks of 800 he will not be included in the count so when we run this now we should see the count as 2 so that's the example for deferred execution which we have just discussed this is the first example for immediate execution where we have used two list operator and this is the other example where we have used the count operator. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.